The boy who has book talk by the throat. I love him so much, but he's a fixer upper and he needs therapy and he might need an exorcism. <laughs> Hi. Hello, welcome back to my channel. This video comes a little bit late for it to be officially a Valentine's Day video, um, but I decided to, for this year, rank your book boyfriends. One of my first videos on this channel was ranking like your favorite bad boys. Um, strange that the lists are pretty similar. <laughs> that's, that's what we're gonna do. I asked you guys on Instagram, you sent in your votes, I tallied them all, and here we go. Um, first I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video though, who made this possible, um, and that is Squarespace, who is a wonderful service I have used for years. If you are looking to host your online presence in any way, shape, or form, whether that is starting a shop, starting an online community, having just a regular blog, um, Squarespace is a really wonderful service and has amazing features like connecting your social media accounts, managing comments, managing like subscription levels. I really love their analytics, which tells you who's reading what, what they're searching for, where they're coming from, etc. It's easy to set up. Again, if you want to start a shop, it has all of the monetization features you need. Just a really wonderful service. So if you would like to try out Squarespace yourself, you can go to squarespace.com right now and set up your entire website. Site, try it out and then when you're ready to launch you can go to squarespace.com slash Carrie can read and you will get 10% off of your first website or domain and if you want to check out my website it's carriecakes.net. Thank you again as always to Squarespace all that information will be in the description box. Let's dive in I have 24 people on our list um, initially it was much longer I was including any person who got more than two votes, um, but that, impossible. Um, so I'm doing any person that got over five votes, five or more votes. Also, I'm using some fan art um, and that will be linked down below um, if it is not a official fan art. Why? I just realized. <sighs> Okay, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Um, so here are our tiers. We have at the top, soulmate material. Don't need an explanation. Uh, next here is I could make it work. I could make it work. The next one is friend zoned. Um, you have a lot of people here who I love and adore, but just like it wouldn't happen. Um, after that is a fixer upper. We know those types. Um, after which is therapy helps the both of you. Um, and you need an exorcism. Some of the people who are on here um, you guys did okay. You guys did well. Um, but, okay. Shall we start? I'm gonna start from the bottom and head to, head to our top ranked. Comment down below right now and you can edit it afterwards. Who do you think got number one? I was biting my nails. I was at the edge of my seat tallying these. You can guess. You can guess. Um, it was, let's just say it was a tight race. <laughs> also, the coffee that I had this morning, I took one sip and I realized something was horribly wrong. I think there were like five shots of espresso in it. I got it from like a vending machine coffee. Anyway, I'm in a state, so. <clears throat> okay, number one on our list coming in with five votes. This is the five vote tier is none other than where is he on here? Julian Blackthorn of the Dark Artifices. Yes, a shadow hunter is ranked at the bottom. He is the least loved shadow hunter boy. I had someone comment, just said all the shadow hunter main characters get a point. So a point for everybody, including Julian. I don't know why he's loved the least. That's so funny. Julian is a guy who just cares for his family. He's been kind of put in a bad situation where he's a teenager, but he's suddenly like the father figure of all of his younger siblings, which means he's an excellent cook. He's very sensitive. He's an artist. He's a little awkward. He's a lot awkward, but like the boy doesn't leave his home unless he's fighting demons. So I'm a little bit shocked. I say justice for Julian. Um, however, that being said, I would absolutely be would I friend zone him or could I make it work? Here's the thing. I feel like 
I would I would absolutely have a crush on him if if I met him in real uh, yeah okay so I can make it work I can make it work it would be a little bit of like a pity romance but I can make it work okay yeah <laughs> next up is none other why aren't these boys I'm so angry why aren't these boys higher on the list get it together people none other than Jamie Freja from Outlander soulmate material well soulmate I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna think about it soulmate material Jamie Fraser if you haven't read Outlander it's about a girl a woman who is living in England in the I believe it's right after World War II and she accidentally time travels finds herself I think it's like the 1700s maybe finds herself in Scotland and we meet a man named Jamie Fraser and God love him I, I did read the book the first book is 900 pages you can just watch the show. They did an incredible job with the show, the casting. This was one of the times where human, real, nonfiction person that they cast was better than who I pictured in my mind. Like, normally it's kind of a letdown, but... <clears throat> okay? He isn't up to speed with, um feminism but he tries he tries okay um so i'm not i'm not even gonna think a soulmate is a soulmate you can't help it jamie and after that how on earth is this man tied with jamie fraser and julian blackthorne i have so many questions for you it is none other than thomas cresswell from stalking jack the ripper i would put him in friend zone because I have no feelings towards this man. Stalking Jack the Ripper takes place in Jack the Ripper era London. We follow a girl whose uncle is like within the detective world and so she's able to go and help investigate all of these murders and she ends up meeting Thomas Cresswell who is her uncle's apprentice and I'm not spoiling it at all they fall in love and it's very you know what I give him I, okay here's the thing I give him points for being the least annoying character in the entire series and he's patient and he puts up with a lot of shit but I don't remember anything else about him nothing go go Thomas I wish you happiness but like I just don't care about you at all. Ooh, Mr. Darcy. Mr. Darcy coming in with six points. We've reached another tier. Mr. Darcy, I would absolutely make it work. Are we soulmates? Are we soulmates? Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we'll put Mr. Darcy in the soulmate category. I can't, I'm not going to tell you what Pride and Prejudice is about. Yeah, yeah, he's in soulmate. I, I can't. I can't say anymore. Nina Zenik. Okay, I opened this up to any character, and Nina is our highest ranked only girl who got above five points. Yeah, soulmate material. What else is there to say? Um, she's a little dramatic, so I'm sure that we would definitely get into a lot of little tiffs, um, but I would, I would just love her to death, and we would eat waffles all the time and she's so tough. I love her. I love Nina. Um, soulmate. No explanation needed. Next up, in the same tier as Nina, is James Herondale. Um, James Herondale is another shadow hunter. Where is he? Where is he, though? Oh my god, pause everything. I need to add him to our tier. Goodness me, I'm sorry, the disrespect. James Herondale is our main character from the Last Hours series, which is the most recent work of Cassandra Clare in the Shadowhunters world. I would put him in a fixer-upper, but also therapy hell. <laughs> Good things to say about James. He's really loyal. He's very funny and witty. He loves to read. He's super handsome. He's like a tough shadow hunter guy, but he's got like communication issues. His loyalty is like too much so that it ends up causing him problems. Um, I feel like I would, ouch. I feel like he just needs, he just needs some some work. He's been through it. He's still going through it. 
and I just don't think he's ready for a relationship. So, sorry, James. <laughs> and finally, in the same tier as James Herondale, Nina Zenick, and Mr. Darcy, the same tier <sighs> is none other than Asriel of the Akatar world. Asriel friend zoned, but also needs their. Let's just like overarch. Um, everybody needs therapy. Let's just say that. Asriel is also super loyal but he's like again been through it so he's very like brooding and keeps to himself and and quiet and he's very much a, a man written by a woman and he is supposedly getting his time to shine soon hopefully sarah j mass has written kind of everyone around him to have a romance and he is just kind of there working his ass off, making sure the plot can move forward, but not getting his time in love. So Asriel's just still kind of a mystery to everybody. And I'm so worried for him, so worried for him. Um, so yeah, he's definitely friend zone. I would absolutely love to have him on my side for sure. He's like a bodyguard man, fairy. Um, but no, nothing else. I'm not the wings, the wings, not for me, not for me. Coming in after Asriel though, now we're getting into it. Peter Melark. What do I have to say about Peter? Peter, 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 Peter. So pros for Peter, a baker, crafty, caring, great makeup skills, kind, I would say. Cons are just that he's a little crazy. <laughs> From what I remember, especially like in the first book, he's just very passive. Like I am the kind of person that I, I don't actively go up and tell people my feelings and I feel like he's the same. So we would just kind of like orbit each other and never actually talk about our feelings, which wouldn't work for me. So I, I don't think our personalities would mesh very well, but just in general as a book boyfriend, I could absolutely make it work. No problems at. PETA, great. Gail who? Gail who? <laughs> After that, soulmate material, I don't, where is he? Where'd he go? Gilbert? I'm going to read you on the andwithanee.fandom.com personality about Gilbert. If you wanna know like what I'm looking for in a man. <laughs> I'm married, by the way, just in case that hasn't been brought up. Gilbert is very intelligent. He shows a strong curiosity for the world around him and a thirst for knowledge. Well liked by many, he has a profound ability to empathize with others and cares deeply about his family and friends. Respectful, well-mannered, and gentle, Gilbert always lends a helping hand. He is passionate, ambitious, and determined to achieve his aspirations. Throughout the series, Gilbert demonstrates unwavering kindness, loyalty, and honesty. Yeah, um, Gilbert, my number one, my number one. <laughs> After Gilbert coming in with seven votes is Darlington, Daniel Arlington, um, from Ninth House and Hellbent. Daniel Arlington is the mentor of our main character in Ninth House. He is obsessed with magic and knowledge and he loves reading and he's just a big ass nerd and I love him so much but he's a fixer-upper and he needs therapy and he might need an exorcism. <laughs> however, however, I mean, you know, we've all got something in our lives. Fixer-upper, absolutely. Darlington, love you so much. I can't spoil anything, but I feel like as the series continues, he's gonna be like a fave. Moving on up as long as we work on, we work on his issues that I mentioned. He's borderline, I could make it work already. And so. Mm. After Darlington, we have a strange entry. We have Adam Carlson from L The Love Hypothesis, and we have Levi Ward from Love on the Brain. However, someone said they voted for Adam Carlson from Love on the Brain. People were mixing him up while they were voting. Understandable, so I combined their votes because they are the same person. 
And we're going to put them in Therapy Helps because they're not my friends. Not fixing them up. Someone else needs to do the work. Therapy Helps for Adam and Levi. These are two books by Allie Hazelwood. They are both about giant men who look like Adam Driver, who are grumpy and grumbly and, and don't communicate, and that leads them into big misunderstandings and being very awkward in love and life. Next up, the boy who has book talk by the throat. <laughs> and I don't know why. That would be none other than Aaron Warner of the Shatter Me series coming in with eight votes, coming in above Mr. Darcy, coming in above Jamie Fraser, Peta Millark. I'm, this is my, my Joker moment um he needs therapy he god um so shatter me is like this dystopian i think it came out they're still kind of coming out it's an incredibly long series with like novellas and prequels and blah, blah, blah. um they read like peak dystopian ya like think of the era of the hunger games i don't want to spoil it but for some reason, this boy just like has book talk in the palm of his hand. I don't remember him knocking me off of my feet when I read this. I do remember being like, oh, okay. Like I, I would have, I would have gotten it if I was a little bit younger, but like, why him? Write your love letters to Aaron Warner down below and explain to me what the appeal is because like I kind of get it I'm there but like the amount of love that this boy gets I'm curious I would love to learn bring me into the Aaron Warner world after Aaron um we have none other than Jace Herondale potentially one of my first loves I don't remember reading the books, The Mortal Instruments. I know that I did, but I don't remember reading them. However, my friend Olivia and I went to see City of Bones, the film, the film, um, in theaters, like, I'm not kidding you, seven times. We have it memorized. We watch it at least once a year. It is peak cinema. Incredible. And I just gotta say, and I mean this in an ironic way, you get me, but it's great. The casting of Jace as Jamie Campbell Bauer, Jamie Campbell Bauer as Jace. Excellent. Everybody knows him as Vecna? No, no. No, no. He is Jace. Um, however, <laughs> boy needs therapy borderline. He's a fixer-upper. I'm gonna, I don't know where to put this boy. I also don't know why I have him on here twice. Jason Herondale just just needs therapy. Uh, honestly, I don't really want to be his friend. He's kind of annoying. But I would also hate to not be his friend. Like, I feel like he'd be even more annoying if I wasn't friends with him. So I will friend zone him, but therapy first. Therapy first for Jace Herondale. One of many Herondales on our list. This family just really churns them out, okay? <laughs> After that, we have coming in with nine votes right before we hit our double digits is Nathaniel Thorne. Nathaniel Thorne is I could make it work. We aren't soulmates. I'm not gonna go there, but I could absolutely make it work. He is, Nathaniel Thorne is from the book A Sorcery of Thorns. He is this moody little wizard and he reminds me so much of Howl, so much of Howl. He's so funny. There's also a novella um, that he is in where he is just so funny. Um, so I just absolutely adore him. I think that he is a really wonderful character in that he's like a very soft boy. And I think we actually had, we had someone vote. Honestly, any soft boy I come across, I claim. And Nathaniel is 100% soft boy and I adore him. He also has a giant ass library in his house and when the main character is like, hey, can I study or something? And he opens his library, I would marry him then and there. Then and there. That is Nathaniel Thorne. <laughs> After that, this is someone I can't really talk about that much. Um, I'm gonna put him in friend zone because he doesn't seem like that bad of a guy. None other than Rowan 
White Thorn from Throne of Glass. So many people have asked me to give Throne of Glass a try because I've talked about how I don't want to do a wrap up or like a plot summary for them. And like, please believe me, guys, I have read more than half of the series. I have met Rowan. I have, you know, been on that journey. And I just didn't, I don't like them. I don't like them. So trust me that I have given them their fair shot. Rowan, um, I remember not being annoyed by him. I remember not being wowed by him. I think I remember him just like cheering on our main girl and supporting her strength which is what we like to see I think he's fey right just like a just like a fey dude uh-huh so he's friend zone sorry guys that's Rowan he had 10 votes but there we are next up I love this next up with 10 votes we have Cell from Legendborn Legendborn is a wonderful not duology that has a bit of inspiration from King Arthur, so hence why everybody has a Welsh name. Cell is like Selwyn or something, something. He is this like sassy, tortured, mean guy. However, he really trusts his gut, which I like. I like confidence, but he's so confident in himself that if he thinks you're evil, he will try to kill you without like maybe looking at other evidence and seeing that maybe you aren't evil he will just kill you so we love we love a man who trusts himself but maybe not to cell's level cell um is a fixer upper i would say also this fan art broke me <laughs> he also speaks welsh so there there you go there you go after that we have a jump in the points we're jumping all the way to 14 points. And that is Cassian of the Aquatar world. Where was Asriel? Six points to our Cassian's 14. Wow. I had so many people of these 14 who voted and they literally apologized. <laughs> they were like, I'm sorry, but I like Cassian. <laughs> um, Cassian is absolutely friend zoned for me. I think he would be a jolly good time to have around, but not too much not too much my favorite word to describe him is obnoxious cassian is very loyal he's kind of the comedic relief he's very funny he's an, he's an okay dude but he might have like an itty bitty anger issue not my least favorite bat boy let's just say that um that's where i'm placing cassian next up tied with cassian is cardin who i have had a bit of an enemies to lovers storyline with i did not like Cardin in The Cruel Prince, but he grew on me upon rereading the second and third book. Um, he needs therapy and I wouldn't, I wouldn't come near him with, what is it, a 10 foot pole? No, no. Cardin's all yours. He is very fey. Holly Black wrote him to be a very, like, how fairies are meant to be, which are tricksters and they like pranks and they aren't very nice and i just in a in a partner it's not what i'm looking at however um if you have read the cruel prince already holly black just released all of the letters that he sends to jude and i mean he got he got me there cardin though <laughs> jumping to 17 points we are getting so close to the top guys we've reached the top six <sighs> Jax from once upon a broken heart uh this is where i would probably need to use the you need an exorcism <laughs> tier <laughs> Jax is a god basically. He's this immortal being. Kills you if he kisses you. He has an apple addiction, which we'd better get fucking answers to because it's gonna dr I can't sleep at night wondering why he eats apples all the time. Um, he is obsessed with his ex. And she just woke up with 12 missed calls and 15 texts from their ex. 
my ex. Steven, please take me back. I miss you. We can work things. Who maybe even wasn't an ex? I mean, he's really tied up on this girl. He's just got, he's just, man. Jax has a lot more cons than he has pros, but there's just something about that boy. So I would put him in, I could make it work, but I feel like most people would put him in, you need an exorcism. So let's do both. I'm putting him in, I could make it work, but perhaps it is I who needs the work. Mm -hmm. Next up, tied with Jax for 17 points, top five is none other than Kaz Brecker of Six of Crows, or as someone said, Kazzle Dazzle. <laughs> Kazzle Dazzle broke my camera battery. <laughs> um, Kaz Brecker, pros. How do I say that I love Kaz without sounding insane? I love him. I think that's all that matters, right? Somebody else said, what was one quote that I pulled? Someone said, I seriously can't find a normal one. They all have an issue or need therapy, which yes. But then someone else said, Kaz, sorry, I'm in love with a criminal. Same, girl, same. So I would absolutely, I could make it work. I could make it work with Kaz. I would not want to get in between him and his lady friend, however, because that would be the end of me. If it was like a, hey, me and my wife think that you're pretty cool, want to come have a drink with us situation, I would say yes. <laughs> but yeah, I, I can't explain why I love Kaz. I just do. The heart wants what it wants. <laughs> After that, we have a big old jump. From 17 votes, we're going into the 24 votes arena with none other than King of My Heart, Nikolai. <laughs> From Shadow and Bone and King of Scars, soulmate material, once again, I'm not getting in between him and his lady friend at all. Nikolai, he is so funny. He's a goofball. He puts his responsibilities before anything even if it really hurts him he really cares about his people and he's loyal and he's great and i love him and i love him and i love him and i love him yeah good work everybody 24 of you voting him up so high oh i forgot to delete her nesta got two votes i was like why is she down there um nesta got two votes and she also needs therapy so we're not even going to talk about it we have now reached the top three and I'm gonna bring you back in time to when I was tallying these votes <laughs> okay hey guys so we currently have a three-way tie asked on Instagram and then I just screen recorded me scrolling through your answers and now I'm like slowly making my way through them so I know that I only have a couple left and we have a three-way tie and i just want to record because i'm invested i'm so invested in this ranking here we go who do we have it's nobody nobody's breaking the tie so far okay oh my god i think these are the last ones <gasps> the last vote goes to gilbert we we did break the tie but there's a tie for second place and they couldn't be more different <laughs> Okay, okay, so anyway, just to prove that I, I was being honest, I screenshotted all of your responses and I put them on a spreadsheet and I counted them honestly. Here we go, here are your, here are your top three book partners. <laughs> These people are tied. These people are tied for second place. Put them in a room together, I don't even know what would happen. Oh my god. 26 votes. Resand from Aquatar. I would put him in therapy big time. Not touching that. Not touching that. You can see how I rank the Bat Boys, who's my least favorite. No. No. And again, as with Cassian, I love that nobody apologized for loving Asriel but everybody apologized for loving Cassian and Resand. <laughs> Fight with me in the comments. Respectfully. Respectfully, your taste is bad. <laughs> tied with Resand. Tied with, well, I'm not gonna spoil anything. Tied with Resand is none other than Booktube's boyfriend, Jem Carstairs. Jem comes in second place. Somebody literally just voted Jem. Like most people were like, Mr. Darcy from Pride and Prejudice or like, 
resand aquitar right somebody just voted gem like he's madonna or beyonce and i love that for him he's so well known in the fandom he's like teetering strangely between soulmate material and friend zoned material i mean i would happily be happily be with him forever this is so hard i'm gonna put it in i could make it work because i absolutely could regardless of how strong our love was i know that i would happily live with gem in my life till the end of time. Gem Carstairs, everybody. Coming in at number one with one vote more than Resand is none other than Will Herondale. Yep, Will Herondale. All right, so Will Herondale and Gem, if you don't know, they are both from the same book series. They are best friends, practically brothers. I don't want to go into it, but they are quite opposite personalities. Will is very like goofy and just comes on real strong and Jem is very like reserved and quiet and plays his violin. So if we were like younger, Will is the kind of person that I would have such a crush on in school, but Jem is the kind of person that I would end up actually like dating. <laughs> I'm stressed. Why am I like my heart is actually beating really fast and it's not the caffeine. I will put him in what? Okay, what? I'm gonna put him in the friend zone with love, with a lot of love, which means that Julian Blackthorne is ranked higher than Will Herondale. What? I stand by I stand by ranking Gem higher. Help me out. If you've read all the Shadowhunter books, could you rank them? We have Will, Gem, Julian, Jason, James. Please rank them for me and let me know your thoughts. I'm, I didn't think that I would have this kind of reaction. Okay, which means my soulmates, Jamie, Mr. Darcy, Nina, Gilbert, Nikolai, yes. Fabulous tier. I could make it work with Julian, Peta, Nathaniel, Jax, Kaz, and Jem. Absolutely, happily, forever and ever after with all of them. Jax, though? All right. We've friend zoned Thomas, who I don't remember anything about. Asriel, Rowan, again, I don't know. Cassian and Will. I feel really bad for Will being in this tier because he is above that. So I'm a little I'm a little iffy on the friend zone. The fixer uppers, we have James Herondale, Darlington and Cell, absolutely. And then who needs a lot of therapy? Adam and Levi, Aaron Warner, Jace Herondale, Cardin, Nesta and Resand. I stand by that. <laughs> there you go. That's my ranking. I didn't think that I would I would be that this stressed. I'm really unsure about Will. I'm probably going to come back. I'm going to be mad once I finish edi editing this. I'm going to be like, I should have put him elsewhere. Honestly, no. You know what? I'm going to put him in a fixer upper because we need to work on his fear of ducks. We need to work on his singing at all times. I need him to take life a little more seriously. A little, just a little, just a little. There. Okay. So I've, I've edited it. I feel a lot better. I like the, the James... Darlington Cell Will group. I can work on them together. Who else? Somebody said, somebody who, this person only got one vote, which was Tristan Kane, and someone said, I promise I can fix him. <laughs> anyway, so that, that's that. That's that. Um, thank you for being here. This was a lot of fun. Let me know your thoughts down below, please, because I feel a lot of feelings right now, and I would love to know your thoughts, Aaron Warner stands. sound off. I need to know about this. But anyway, thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring this. You can find the link down below. You can go to squarespace.com slash Carrie can read to get 10% off of your first website or domain. Um, and yeah, thank you for always supporting this channel. So I will see you guys next time. Hope you had a good Valentine's Day. If not, March 14th in Korea is black day where if you're single you go out and you eat noodles so i hope you might have a happy black day as well anyway yeah i'm 
starving and I'm gonna go make a coffee that doesn't taste like it will kill me in a couple sips and I will see you guys next time all right have a wonderful day go get that therapy that you need get an exorcism um and see you next time all right bye <laughs>